What up everybody, this is Be Young at Be Young Be Fit, and today I'm here to teach you three techniques to get a stronger push-up. Be Young Be Fit, it's a lifestyle. None of it is lit, we run and we live, and we train with a purpose, be young and be fit. There's a few things that I see people do all the time that are really hindering their push-ups. They may think that they don't have the upper body strength for it, but the reality is they're just out of position or they're not focusing on engaging the right muscles. Today I'm going to teach you three ways and three focuses to get a stronger push-up right now. So the first thing I want you to do to get a stronger push-up is to learn how to develop and utilize your core properly. Basically, a push-up is a moving plank. So if you can get stronger in a plank, you're ultimately gonna be stronger in a push-up. When you're actually doing the push-up, you need to understand and, and engage your core. And we have talked about this in a previous video about core strength. Engaging your core properly is the key to being stronger in many exercises. So when you're doing a push-up, knowing that you're holding a plank is super important. You may be focused on the upper body movement, but making sure that your hips aren't sagging down or making sure that your butt's not up in the air, that's gonna ultimately make your push-up stronger. The second thing I want you to do to get a stronger push-up is fix your elbow and hand position. I see people all the time doing push-ups and they'll say, my wrist hurts or my elbow hurts. And the first thing I see is that their hands aren't in the right position. So the proper hand position for a push-up is directly under your shoulders. When I set up for a push-up, I stack my hands directly underneath my shoulders, just like a full arm plank, and that's how I know I'm in position. Now in regards to elbow position, this one's a little harder to see yourself. So sometimes I'll actually take a video of myself so I can see, but once you get the elbow position, you'll know you're in the right position. Ideally, from, a, from an aerial view, you wanna form an arrow with your elbows in your body. It's almost like a 45 degree angle with your elbows. So they're not all the way flared out, but they're also not all the way tucked in like a yoga push-up. This ideal elbow position is gonna help you engage other muscles like your lats and also engage your core. And we just talked about that's so important for a strong push-up. Now, as you get stronger and stronger and wanna advance your push-ups, you can toy around with your hand position. But right now, the most efficient position for you is hands directly under your shoulders and your elbows at 45 degrees. The third thing I want you to learn to get a stronger push-up is how to modify to your current abilities. Before you're able to jump right into a full push-up from your feet, these are a couple modifications that are gonna allow you to build strength in all the areas that are necessary for a strong push-up. The first modification that I love to do is called a bottom-up push-up. In a bottom-up push-up, you're actually starting laying on the floor and then you're gonna push yourself away from the floor, which is kind of opposite of normal push-ups where you're starting up and lowering yourself down and then back up. So your starting position is on the floor and your ending position is on the floor. This is gonna help you develop strength to push away from the floor and it's more of the concentric focus rather than the eccentric focus. The second modification that I love to do with people is a stability ball push-up. So the stability ball allows you a sliding scale to do push-ups anywhere from your knees all the way up to your toes and everywhere in between. So this is gonna allow you to uh, move even during the exercise. So maybe you do two from your feet and have to move a little, back, a little further back to your shins and then do two more and then ultimately going all the way to your knees to finish a set of 10 but this allows you to slide as you're doing the exercise. The third modification is something that I do for people with wrist injuries. So a lot of times, just the bend of the wrist in a proper push-up is too much. So what I would suggest in this case is putting your hands on a pair of dumbbells to straighten your wrists Or you could even use a product like the Perfect Push-Ups, which allow you to straighten your wrists and they turn with you as you're doing the exercise. Thanks for watching our video today, FitFam. Please give me feedback and let me know things that you want to hear more about, different fitness topics, different pieces of exercise equipment. Today's video was all about push-ups. And as you can see, there's a lot that goes into a push-up, more than just the upper body strength. 
If you can learn how to develop and utilize your core properly, if you can learn how to have the right hand and elbow position, and then learn how to modify as you get stronger, you're ultimately gonna live a happier and healthier life.